What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to Moneyachi Games and welcome to episode 3 of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Welcome to SmackDown, man. We on the road to the Royal Rumble, man. Three weeks out. Now, listen, pause the video right now to check out SmackDown's roster because, listen, like I said on the first episode and reiterated on NXT, it's a new era and we need new champions, man. So, this is what we got planned for tonight on SmackDown. We got two triple threat matches, man. We gonna kick it off with Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, and Drew McIntyre in one of them. In the other, we got Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles, and Bobby Lashley. And the winners of each of these matches advance to the main event tonight to crown the new WWE Champion. It's, it's almost like a little all-star section of triple threat matches. That's pretty much what it is, man. So the winner of each, Face off in the main event, the winner of that is the new WWE Champion for SmackDown. And speaking of champions, we got Alexa Bliss one-on-one -on -one with Rowdy, Ronda, Rousey to crown the brand new SmackDown Women's Champion, man. So that's what we got planned for tonight. So without further ado, man, let's just get right to the show. Let's see, let's see, let's see where we at tonight, man. Where we at with it tonight? For SmackDown, man. Three weeks out from the Rumble. Where we at? Where we at? Feel like we sold it out. Come on now, because you know how money out should get down. New York City, it's only right. We crowning a new WWE and Women's Champion tonight. So we got the first of two triple threat matches. These matches are going to be back to back. And then we're going to have the Women's Championship match. And then we're going to have the one on one match to crown a new WWE Champion and the winners of these two triple threat matches, man. Now, at first I was gonna do this in next episode, but I said, you know what? Let's just do it all in one episode, man. So we got Finn Balor, man, come on. The Prince himself, new swagger to himself, man. You know I had to get him right with the Judgment Day attire. I like this new Finn Balor, man. You know, this is a long time coming. I'm glad that he's able to finally get the time and just the TV time he deserves for real, man. For real. And Finn Balor in this match right here, man, come on now. This could be so poetic. Balor had to give up a world championship that he never lost due to injury. Since then, he's never climbed that top of the mountain. But he got opportunity in this universe mode, man. He wins this, he goes on to the main event. He, fight, he faces either Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio, or AJ Styles. You win this, you one step closer to calling yourself WWE Champion. As we are so close to the Royal Rumble event, come on, man. It's only right. Like, the chances of you going on to WrestleMania as the champion are very high. Very, very high, man. And speaking of high, Balor has reached the, the highest of highs in the WWE, man. One of the most impressive NXT champions. He's a former U.S. champion, former first ever Universal champion, which that title is non-existent in my universe mode. It's all about retribution for Balor, man. So if you are new to the universe mode, man, I do not play any of these matches. This is all CPU operated. Matches, storylines to be formed via the outcomes of each of these matches, man. So I don't know who's gonna win a Royal Rumble. All I can do is put in the 30 that I wanna put in and whoever wins it, wins it, man. And we got the prize fighter right here, man. Big KO. And speaking of universal champion, how ironic though. The title that Finn Balor had to relinquish back in 2016, this man Picked up after scoring a win in that Fatal 4-Way match. Kevin Owens won that Universal title only to lose it to old, I mean Goldberg. Come on now. Now we know Kevin Owens, man. I'm saying when you talk about money on the mic, money in the ring. When you talk about just pure athleticism. Oh, come on. Kevin Owens got to be in that convo. I personally feel, I mean, I appreciate the WWE for putting him in this, you know, Main event scene. Will he beat Roman at the Rumble? Hell no, but you know, Kevin Owens definitely deserves what he's getting right now, man. You know, of course, that Mania, most likely Owens and Zayn versus the Usos. 
you know, I'm all for it. You know, as long as Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn both get their shine on, man, you know. And speaking of shine, hold on. We got the winner of the 2020 Royal Rumble, Drew McIntyre. Biggest question here is, man, listen, Drew McIntyre won the 2020 Rumble. He went on to a, a COVID WrestleMania in front of a crowd of zero, zero. Defeated Brock Lesnar, won that WWE title in front of a crowd of nobody. Later on in the year, he regained the title for Randy Orton in front of a, a virtual crowd. Well, tonight is his opportunity. He wins this, he could win that title in front of a crowd on universe mode, man. Come on, now. Nah. Drew McIntyre, man, you know, you talk about a come up story. He was released from the WWE. He had to scratch and claw his way back, came back, beefed up. Beefed up. Come on, now. A lot of people can argue, man. Drew McIntyre. He's the guy. He could be the guy of SmackDown if he wins this, man. But talk about athleticism. Like I said, it's an all-star set of triple threat matches. All these guys are former world champions in both matches. So I trust that they're going to carry the brand no matter who wins. I don't know who's going to win this, man. But if I could personally have my pick, I would actually like to see Finn Balor win this match. No lie. But here we go. And Balor and Owens talk about NXT and just their history back in NXT, man. A hell of a robbery back then. And now McIntyre taking it to Balor. Look at that strength. That's a grown man. That's a grown man. Suplex to Balor. No one's trying to get him some action already. Now Owens targeting McIntyre. Kevin Owens. Low key, I wouldn't be mad if Kevin Owens won this either. Low key. But McIntyre is kind of like, I kind of see it coming that it's probably going to be McIntyre to win this. But it's all right. It's all good, bro. Now Owens. Valor and Owens need to form a team. Get McIntyre on out of there. And no, nah, you say McIntyre and Finn. I said McIntyre and I said Owens and, and Ballard. All right. All right. Look at the size difference with McIntyre compared to, to Owens and Finn Ballard. Ballard. Sling blade like he going crazy. Ballard definitely as fast as anyone else in this match definitely possesses that quickness now McIntyre can come with that strength just like that and Owens oh so agile ooh club and blow just taking down KO y'all saw on the Raw episode a universe mode man Edge won that fatal five way elimination style match and he's new world heavyweight champion over on Raw now Balor's out of the equation and this is music to Drew McIntyre's ears. Hold on. Thought he was going for Future Shock. The, the move that won McIntyre his first ever championship in the WWE, being that Intercontinental title back in 2009. And now look at Kevin Owens. One of the most innovative competitors on the roster today while Balor's already caught his breath. And now he's looking to catch some cock from the crowd, but... He, oh, wait a minute. His title might slip out of his hands, but no. That's what you get, Balor. Stop trying to get some caught off the crowd now. Another sling blade to Kevin Owens. Into, oh, a low drop kick. McIntyre. It looked like McIntyre was measuring something on KO. But gets taken to the outside of the ring. No count outs. No disqualification in a match like this, man. Momentum can go any way, any type of way. Might not want to exert too much energy now, fellas, because you've got to compete again tonight. Or at least one of you have to compete again tonight for the WWE title. Funny thing about it. Oh, STO from Finn Balor. Funny thing about it is Drew McIntyre is the only one in this match to actually have held the WWE Championship. You know, Owens and, and Balor. Stunner! He just stunned that man. And McIntyre right there to break it up. 
Owens and Balor, both former Universal Champions, not WWE Champions. Kevin Owens, this is a big boy. Oh, McIntyre blocking it. Getting out the way. Claymore kick out of nowhere. Balor coming too. Come on. Hurry up, ref. Count it. Count it. And Balor breaks it up, man. That would have for sure been it. McIntyre. Snake eyes. He got that boy leaking. He got that boy leaking. Look at the strength again of McIntyre. Saw this earlier in the match, and he just, he brought Ballard down like he was a kid. Like he was nothing. McIntyre clearing away. Forearm to the face. Owens countered. And Owens thought he was going for a stunner. We saw this earlier in the match. Owens almost had the match one after that move. And he's looking to get it done again. That might do it. No, McIntyre stays in it. Stays alive. But not for long, Stunner! Balor, you better get in there! You better get in there! No, McIntyre kicked out! Balor is lucky. What is Balor doing? Like he's summoning some, some type of dark energy. Now he's trying to go in on Drew McIntyre. Trying to go in. Look like he's going to go for a DDT, but nope. To no avail, McIntyre. Ballard running for him. Got McIntyre leaking now. Got his get back for show. McIntyre down. Ballard going up. Looking for a coup de grace. Come on, fan. Come on. Come on, fan. Come on, fan. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Fan Ballard is one step closer to that WWE Championship. Whatever he was summoning, it worked. Hey, whatever it was, it worked. We saw Stunners, Coup de Gras, everything. In the main event tonight, Ballard may want to get that cleaned up because tonight he's fighting for the WWE Championship, man. Let's go. Let's go. That's major. I thought for sure McIntyre was going to win that. Let's go. I'm with that. I'm with that. So we got half of the half of the question answered for the main event. And that WWE title match, we know Finn Balor is one of the competitors. Now we about to find out who the second one is. And could it be the face that runs the place? Now, I didn't realize it until just now. But AJ Styles. Rey Mysterio and Bobby Lashley all have a sentimental tie to the SmackDown brand. And I didn't realize it until now. Now, AJ Styles, of course, y'all remember that infamous 2016 run from AJ, for sure, superstar of the year that year. And the WWE title reign that he had, you know, AJ was killing it. He was really the face that ran the place. You know, people tuned in to SmackDown at that time for AJ Styles. Now, AJ Styles, since then, his career has been in a little bit of a lull. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cap. But he has the opportunity to once again show why he is phenomenal. AJ Styles has wrestled all over the world, won championships, cashed a lot of checks, made a lot of bread all over the world. And other wrestling promotions. Come on, man. It all comes full circle in the biggest promotion of them all, man. Straight like that. So talking about sentimental attachments to SmackDown, who could forget? Over 20 years ago, 21, dang near 21 years ago right now, Rey Mysterio debuted on SmackDown. Since then, you look at the biggest little man. You look at the biggest little underdog. How about 2006? Rey Mysterio winning the Royal Rumble after lasting over an hour in the Royal Rumble. Against the likes of Triple H, Randy Orton, you name them, Rey Mysterio overcame him. How about WrestleMania 22? Defeating Kurt Angle and Randy Orton in a triple threat match to win his first ever world championship. He did that for Eddie. Come on, man. How about his matches with Mark Henry? 
The great Kali that followed out there, JBL. How about when he got betrayed by his own by his own best friend Batista? Come on, man. So many memories for Rey Mysterio on SmackDown. And most importantly, his tag team championship run with the late great Eddie Guerrero, man. Who could forget that? And now we got almighty business in the building. Now business just picked up, man. The year is 2005. We got this new upstart, Bobby Lashley. We got him terrorizing Simon Dean. I remember it like it's yesterday, man. I had it videotaped on a VHS, a blank VHS tape. I taped that specific SmackDown. I lost the tape though, man. But it was Bobby Lashley's debut and I knew from that moment that Lashley was gonna be a star. And although he did leave WWE for some time, he came back, he took care of business, no pun intended. Now I know y'all see the seeds being planted in real life for the Hurt Business to come back, man. I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. Now, y'all know my last Universe Mode series, Bobby Lashley was WWE Champion. Like I said, this Universe Mode series has no correlation to that one. But it's, 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 it might be looking like it might be the same ordeal on this one, man. We got to see how this triple threat match goes, man. Sound like the crowd was chanting AJ Styles for a little bit. Now, if you're wondering why I decided to break up the Mysterios, um, I wanted to put Dominic Mysterio on NXT, man. You know, I want to really start him from where he should have started. You know, no doubt about it, Dominic Mysterio is doing some incredible things on Monday Night Raw right now. That, that segment on Miz TV was very entertaining. But I just feel like, you know, NXT is a good spot for him, man. Ray's on the latter end of his career. You know, let me see if I can get Ray as WWE Champion at least one more time, man. So... AJ Styles going to work on Bobby Lashley. AJ, between AJ and Ray, you know, argument could be made. Ray Mysterio is really the face that ran the place on SmackDown. Ray Mysterio all about being the underdog. Taking it to Bobby Lashley with that Hurricane Rana. I talk about strategy for this match, man. I would try to get Bobby Lashley up out of there. I would try to do as much damage to Lashley as I can so that way it says me and my opponent that being either Ray and or AJ Styles they letting Almighty get resting this is not what you want Ray you do not want to just be in there one on one with Bob Lashley look at this strength it's somebody's dad that he's doing this to Lashley talking about somebody that ain't age a bit I know it would mean so much. And now look at this, Carl Sonnenbar. And AJ Styles, Styles. And Ray was able to get out of it on his own. But this match would mean so much if AJ Styles won this face off against his best friend, one of his buddies from overseas, Finn Balor for the WWE title. That would be dope, man. And lastly, not letting it happen, spine on the pine. Spine on the pine. One thing about Lashley is high intensity. He's not here to make anything look pretty. He's here to hurt people, take care of business, and win championships. Come on, man. AJ and Lashley going back and forth. Lashley trying to display some, some strength again. And this ain't good. Lashley looking for a dominator on Ray. But Ray luckily can wiggle out of that. Luckily can wiggle out of that. And got out of that too. Hold on. Lashley just still is not staying down. And AJ gets a DDT himself. But AJ out of the question. Lashley. Yo. Ray got two over the dominator. Ray just got handled. No, and Ray. Wow. And now lastly, cross on bar again. It looked like he had Ray's number when he had this locked in before. Ain't no way. I was about to say, ain't no way Ray about to tap out to that. That ain't even the hurt lock. 
But he's still turning it up on Lashley. Looking to climb the mountain just one more time. These three men, all veterans. You don't know when. I mean, believe it or not, Lashley's getting up there in age. So is AJ. So is Ray. You don't know how many more opportunities like this you got. Come on now. Last. Something as simple as a clothesline took the wind out of AJ Styles. Following this match, we got Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss. And then our main event, the WWE title match, Finn Balor versus whoever wins this match. Which right now, I think it's that man, Bobby Lashley. Oh, never mind, hold on. Come on, Ray. Gotta take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Ray Mysterio, this is what, come on, pin him. Pin him, you should've just had a pin combo on that. He knew that wasn't gonna do it. Ray Mysterio going up, paying homage to the late great Eddie Garretto. Here's the cover. Two, and AJ breaks it up. Yo. AJ broke it up. And now AJ might be able to pick up the pieces left by Rey Mysterio. AJ tuning up for a phenomenal far no. Ray had Lashley beat. Lashley. He's got AJ. AJ gets a dominator for his worries. That's it. That's it. That's it. No. That's not it. Okay. Okay. AJ. AJ going after Ray. Taking Ray down. You want to make this a one-on-one -on -one equation once again. Now look at Lashley. AJ snake eyes. And Ray, Ray, hold on. Hold on. Lashley caught himself. Ray was about to do the 619. Lashley just caught himself. That's crazy. That's crazy. AJ. AJ really want to take care of Lashley. But not Ray. Ray again looking for it. Got it this time. Got it this time. Dialing up 619. Come on, Ray. Ray. Come on, Ray. You can't waste no time, partner. Frog splash. Yo. Roll break. Okay, Ray ain't. He ain't. Oh, he ain't letting up. He ain't letting up, though. Yo, that would have been it. Ray would have been going to the main event. That would have been it. And now AJ, now it's AJ's time. He's calling for it. But Ray, Ray getting out of there. No phenomenal form right there. But we damn sure get a hurt lock. Yo, we, we damn sure got a hurt lock. He tapped, wow, wow. I feel bad for Ray, Ray had this match won. Rey Mysterio had this match won on a number of occasions. He had Bobby Lashley beat. Rey had Bobby Lashley beat. If it wasn't for that dang rope, Rey would have been heading to the main event right now. But now it's official. Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley in the main event for the WWE title will Lashley once again become the almighty WWE Champion. It's hard to argue against that one. Time to crown a new SmackDown Women's Champion. The two former SmackDown Women's Champions. We got the Five Feet of Fury mixed with Alexa Bliss. Forget Alexa's run on SmackDown in the good old days of the 2016 SmackDown, man. You know, a lot of people talk about 2016 SmackDown. I personally did enjoy it. Um, I do think it was one of the greatest eras for SmackDown in this recent reality era, whatever era we're in. You know, I know I, I kind of get hung up on Ruthless Aggression and Attitude Era. I get hung up on those times, man, but I will give credit where credit is due. 2016 SmackDown, they killed it. They did their thing, for real. Summer all the way to the end of the year. 
they for sure had it on lock, man. So, speaking of having somebody on lock in a headlock, we got the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Now, I know, I know, Ronda Rousey's not really highly favored by, by a lot of us fans right now, man. You know, I personally feel like, you know, personally don't put the title on Ronda anymore. But, um, you know, she is, she is a star. You know, she brings a lot of attention, a lot of eyes to the product. So I get it. But, you know, her mic skills are just not, they're not up to par with everybody else, man. You know, she can get cooked in a, in a promo alongside someone like, just have her just be that, that fighting mercenary. Maybe give her a manager. I want a crowd in my universe mode cheering for it, though. That's what it's all about, SmackDown Women's Championship. As I stated earlier, you know, you win these titles right now, you got a good chance of going to WrestleMania with that title. Yes, we got the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Yes, we got the Elimination Chamber. So there's still some obstacles, but hey, here we go. Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey. You know the history between these two. Money in the bank. And now look at Ronda firing off. Two very different fighting styles. But Alexa could definitely bring the pressure to Ronda Rousey. Following this match, we're crowning the new WWE Champion. Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley, man. Come on. Alexa, you know, on paper, on paper, I would say Ronda Rousey would have ended this in about 10 seconds, but Alexa actually going crazy right now. I ain't going to lie. Not going to lie. Everything Ronda's trying to do, Alexa got an answer for. It. Cannot doubt Little Miss Bliss. Cannot. She wasn't a former SmackDown Women's Champion for nothing. Alexa up top. Alexa up top. Staring down Ronda. And a cross body from the top rope. Top turnbuckle. Ronda hasn't got any offense in. She ain't get any offense in, man. Oh. Now it might be. No. Still. Now it might be time for Ronda to, to turn it up a little bit, man. Get something going. She probably came into this match underestimating Alexa. I don't know. I don't know. She is not letting Ronda get any breathing space. Ronda, I mean, it's like she get a little reverse, but she can't. She needs some, some heavy moves, some heavy, heavy shots, man. Ronda, ooh, struck her with the elbow. Now this is the Ronda. It may have took her a little bit for her to cook up, to heat up, but she heating up right now. Dragon Alexa Bliss, she about to go for a pin. And maybe a submission. Oh, wait. And Ronda Rousey, Piper Split. Ah. That might be it. That might be it for Alexa. No, Le Alexa kicked out. Okay. Okay. Alexa kicked out. This match still going, but now this is where Ronda get dangerous. So Ronda gets a little agitated, a little aggravated. Oh, overtaking Alexa. Ronda did not forget Money in the Bank. She did not forget what Alexa put her through at, at one point in her career. Now look at this. This is the mercenary style of Ronda Rousey right here. Ronda taking Alexa. Luckily, Alexa got a rope break on that. But how much damage was done to Alexa Bliss? Ronda Rousey won. Okay. Awkward ending, but new new SmackDown Women's Champion. This is what I get for talking for talking crap, man. 
Well, Ronda Rousey's the champ. I will say, though, Alexa did her thing in this match, though. She really did. The damage was done with that move right there. I don't even know if Ronda had it all the way locked in, but it was probably so intense. She probably did, man, because they took Alexa out. Once again, the baddest woman on the planet, the new SmackDown Women's Champion. The whole locker room better be scared. Lord help the winner of the Rumble. Here we go. This is for the WWE Championship. Main event here on Universe Mode Episode 3. Both of these men in very draining triple threat matches. And they actually got a lot of history with each other regarding the prestigious Intercontinental Championship a while back. And Finn Balor, I feel like, has so much to lose. You know how long it took Balor to fight just to get back to this opportunity, just to get back to this spot. Lastly, my last Universe mode, lastly, was the WWE Champion. And it was looking like he wasn't going to lose that thing, man. Balor, though. The quickness of Balor is going to be his best friend in this match. Three weeks out from the Royal Rumble. Now, lastly, just standing on the outside. Balor trying to go out there. But lastly, he toying with Balor at this point. Just toying with him. Bobby Lashley. Going crazy. Now, look at this strength. Ooh. Military press slam. Like, come on. Bobby Lashley. Lashley is swept off his feet. I can only imagine the first big move the other one hit. It might be over. These two probably so fatigued out. Probably Lashley more than Balor. Lashley was almost beat by Rey Mysterio, man. Rey had Lashley beat. I'll stand on that. Ray was Ray should have been in this match. Lastly. Was that Mojo Raleigh's animation? <laughs> Nonetheless, though, Ballard. This is gonna be what Ballard needs to do. Chop Lashley down, keep Lashley grounded. Keep Lashley grounded. So why you're a former NXT first ever universal champion. Ballard, oh! Crashed and burned into a spear. That's it. Yep. That's it. That's it. No, it's not it. But that definitely took at least a, a, a lot of HP. A lot of health out of Ballard. No doubt about it. Hurt lot. He's in. AJ Styles came to this. AJ Styles did not kill him with Stan or Hurt lot. Yeah. Let's give it up, Ballard. Come on. Yo, Ballard in stuns Lashley. He stunned Lashley. Ballard, yo, hold on. Hold on, Ballard. He better summon whatever he summoned in that triple threat earlier. He going up top. Coup de gras, but was countered. Boom, sling blade into a low drop kick, but... Notice Ballard ain't high. He, he won with the flashiness before he tried to hit that coup de gras. DDT now. Keep this offense up on Lashley, man. Please, Ballard, keep it up. There's nothing wrong with Lashley being WWE champion, man, but come on. Sling blade again. And Ballard, don't change what's working. Just stay on it. Lashley. Getting the beast put on him. Imagine one coup de gras, that might be it for the almighty. Consistent chops, nice combos. From Finn Balor, Lashley ain't got no breathing time. And that's exactly how it should be. Balor, I think Balor, he knows his time. He hit Lashley with everything now, a coup de gras. That's it. That's it. No! Yo, that was three. 
Crowd saying fight forever. Oh man, this ain't good. This ain't good. Yep, it's not good. Bobby Lashley. Got him pissed. Got him pissed. Spine buster. Ballard made Bobby Lashley look like a fool. Come on, Ballard. Come on, Ballard. You got this. You got this, Ballard. Talk about his NXT days. Vince's fan, Ballard. The Hurt Business. Hold on. That Shelton Benjamin and, and Cedric are on NXT. So where did that come from? Her business. Trying to secure a dog for Bob. Oh, but it did not work. Ballard going to top one can only imagine. He needs just one more two to draw to connect and he got it. Come on, Finn. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Finn Ballard. The new champ, baby. Let's go. Yo, I thought for sure Bobby Lashley's going to win this. Oh, man, I thought for sure. For sure, I thought that was it. We had the spirit. We had the hurt lock, the hurt business. Playing mind games with Finn Balor. But for the first time in his career, this man can say that he is WWE champion Finn Balor. Back on top of the mountain, baby. Let's go. He back on top.